Would you look at this? That is cool. Look at this. Hello everyone, welcome back to our false hunting video. Today we're looking in the Badlands for some dinosaur material and a ton of other cool fossils. We've already found some really cool things including a raptor tooth, so stick around to see that. The first thing we're going to be checking out today is what's called a microsite, and that's where we get all these millions of pieces of bone. We've got turtle shell, croc shell, and most of this is actually dinosaur bone, and just look how much of it there is. So we look on our hands and knees like this, we just look very closely to the surface, and that's where we're going to find teeth, like raptor teeth, croc teeth, ray teeth, and more. In fact, right there, that is a freshwater ray tooth. So let's keep looking. So this is why it's important to look really closely at the ground. Because right there, that is a turtle vertebrae. You can see the neural canal in the center there. Quite cool. Right there, there is a tiny champsosaur vert. And right there, that's a croc tooth, no molar. And right there, it's a monodaphus tooth. Three for one. Right there, that's a turtle backbone. Cool stuff. There's a really cool bone. So that is a hadrosaur metacarpal or metatarsal, probably from a juvenile. So there's one end of it there. Continues on, there would be another end right here, but unfortunately it's missing, so. Still cool to see though, right there. Crocodile tooth. Sweet. Right there, there's a croc tooth. And then right here, and then that's a fish scale. Looks to be a duck bill dinosaur finger bone right here. It's all there too, that is really cool. Oh, that's sweet, I'm happy with that. These really rich sections of bone. You get turtle shells, dinosaur fragments, stuff like that. Right there we have a vertebrae, a champsosaur. Right there we got another vertebrae, also champsosaur. And if we keep looking along here, we might find something else. Let's see. Just got to look at all these bone fragments here. That is cool. Look at this. That is a duck-billed dinosaur toe bone just laying there. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe it looks like it'll be a younger one just because of its size. That's cool. I'm happy with that. There it is. Complete hadrosaur toe bone. Awesome. It's a good find. This bone is quite cool. So this is from a fish called a sturgeon. And they're still around today. And they were around 70 million years ago. And that's part of um, uh, its scale. It has a very cool texture. Let's see if we can find anything in this zone right here. There's a layer right there I found nice teeth before, so I'm gonna check that out first. Look right here, we got a piece of an ankylosaur skewed sturgeon. And right there, that's a piece of a tooth. You can see the serrations along the top. So we know we're in a good spot. And there's a lot more bone along here. Got another area for microfossils right here. Right there. Crocodile too. A pretty big one as well. Sweet. Would you look at this? Beautiful chance to store vertebrae. Look at that. Sweet. Check out that really bizarre dinosaur bone. So this is a process from a vertebrae. So there'll be a backbone somewhere along here. And then these are the bits that stick out there. It's very cool. This is probably from a duck-billed dinosaur. So look at this. That is cool. That is a really, really nice fish vertebrae. Oh, that's sick. I'm happy with that. That is a good find. Awesome. Got a big limb bone from a dinosaur here. Probably duckbill. That's some of the stuff. We won't be keeping that. Can't dig it up. Can't collect it. And it's destroyed. But we'll keep looking along here. It's making our way along here. You can see bone scraps coming out of the hill here. Now, if you look closely, these bone scraps have a hollow look to them. That tells me that these are most likely from a raptor or a theropod. So probably Dromaeosaur or an Ephemimate for these guys. 
We'll see if we can find anything else along here, because unfortunately that's too destroyed to keep. But there's lots of bone fragments along this bluff here. Also, that's super common around here, these fish scales, so they're called gars. You can see it right there. And there is actually another one right here. And they're just all over the place in these bone and leg layers. There's a piece of one right there. And if you look right here, that is a ray tooth. So there's um, a biting surface right there. So there'd be a ton of these in the ray's mouth. Give an idea of how rich the site is all the white stuff you see here, that's dinosaur bone, all of it. And it just goes on all across this area right here. There's a ton of it right there. And in between that, tons of teeth, tons of really cool stuff. Wait, so right here, got a dromosaur tooth. Look at that. Beautiful little raptor tooth. Let's see if we can find anything along the layer here. There's lots of bone fragments. That's interesting. Let's see what that is. Looks to be part of a fish. You can tell by that flaky texture in the center there. Probably from a sturgeon. Is there anything else along here? It's a bone fragments. Looks like part of a process from a champsosaur vertebra. Bone sticking in there. Got your fish scale. And yeah, lots of stuff. Folks, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. We found some really cool stuff. I love that raptor tooth we found. It's beautiful. If you enjoy this kind of content, a subscription would be appreciated. If you want to check out a video where we find a really nice tyrannosaur tooth and lots of iridescent baculites, check right here. And until next time, see ya.